what's up guys it's Falha here in this video I am going to show you how to do rendering and create a video animation in Enscape before I get started I would like to ask you to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description now let's get started okay so I have already opened this project and now first we will create the camera view so let's go to level 1 and then go here and select camera view from this drop down and we will create a camera from here facing this direction now we will just leave it like this and adjust this camera in Enscape so let's go to Enscape here just make sure this 3d view is selected and then click start so the enscape is now started but you can see it's looking very dark so the reason why it's looking like this is because of the settings i made earlier so we will reset all the previous settings so let's go back to revit before that i will just resize this take that here and then go to visual settings then presets and reset to default and then click yes and let's go back to Enscape. there you go all the settings are now set to default and it's already looking very very nice now let's adjust the camera if you don't know how to use Enscape for Revit you can check out my video I already did a detailed tutorial on this you will find the link in the description anyway let's save this camera view so go back to Revit and here uh, you have create view button click on this and then you can rename this if you want I will just leave it like that and you can see the new camera view is now created here so let's save this in Enscape so go here and click on this drop down and you can see that view just click on the star button to mark this as favorite then we can easily select that from Enscape here now let's do the settings but before that we need to do some changes on this texture here it's not looking that realistic so let's go back to Revit here then manage Where is it here we have that manage then materials and just look for the material the floor material so here we have that select then go to appearance and okay we'll just close this and resize the revit so we can see the changes in Enscape. so open up the material browser again then go to appearance first we will increase the glossiness let's try 70 and we will add some reflectivity also so reduce the reflectivity maybe direct around 7 and oblique let's make 4 click apply and there you go it's looking a lot more realistic but I think the reflection is too much let's see that yes so the ref reflection is too much and that's why it's looking dark so we will adjust that we will not uh, we will not uh, do any changes in the reflectivity but we will adjust the glossiness so just reduce this maybe around 60 just click apply okay it seems perfect now now let's do the other settings so first i will close this material browser and then go to Enscape and then settings visual settings and now here first we will adjust the background so let's go to atmosphere and change this from white ground to maybe let's try mountains you can use the slider here to rotate this okay it seems perfect for me now let's return back the camera and we will adjust the exposure 
so go to rendering tab here and then increase the exposure you can notice that here if I try to adjust the exposure it's affecting on this glass also so to fix this we need to edit the highlights you'll find highlights in image tab here just reduce the highlights it's perfect now let's adjust the daytime which I forgot to do earlier so we'll bring some sunlight from this glass so you can just hold I on your keyboard to adjust the daytime you can see the time here I think it's enough now let's edit the sun brightness in the atmosphere tab here you have sun brightness increase this a bit and then we will re uh, we will adjust the shadow sharpness let's reduce that to zero maybe to make it look realistic now now as you can see within minutes we have created this very cool looking scene in Enscape. now we will return back the camera and render this scene so you just need to hit zero on your keyboard to return back the camera if you select the camera view from here it will reset all the settings which we just made so you need to use zero on your keyboard now before exporting this image I will change the render quality so go to rendering tab and then change the rendering quality to ultra then capture and we will change the resolution to ultra HD and I prefer JPEG so I will select file format JPEG now uh, once I change that to ultra uh, it affect on this uh, rendering so we will adjust the exposure again so I had to set the rendering quality before doing any changes here which I forgot to so make sure before doing any changes here first change the rendering quality so now we'll just increase the exposure a bit more so let's export this the shortcut key which I put to export is control plus one which I am going to press let's save that here Enscape rendering one enter and you can see the process and the rendering process is now started let's open up that image here we have that open this up so as you can see within minutes we have created this very cool looking rendering in Enscape. Now I will show you how easily you can create the animation. So first close this and go back to Enscape. Just maximize this. First we need to place the camera from where we want to start this video. So I will place that here. Now you can see here we need to press K to open up the video editor. Okay, first we need to add the keyframe here and then we can just take the camera here and add another keyframe because we want to change the direction of camera from this uh, from this part. So click add keyframe again and then just rotate the camera view. Maybe we'll take that down a bit and then add keyframe again because we want to rotate again now let's take that here okay like this now click add keyframe now let's adjust the total duration so maybe we'll try 30 this du duration is going to be for the whole video if you want to slow down any of the keyframes you can just select uh, select the keyframe from here or you can just select the camera so select keyframe and then you can adjust the time for that particular frame for this video I'm not going to slow down any of the keyframes so I'll just go back and just edit the total duration let's try seven, 30 seconds then click preview okay 30 seconds is too slow so we will to make it faster we need to reduce the total duration let's try 25 seconds click preview 
seems perfect or maybe still it's actually very slow so maybe I will make it 20 uh, 20 seconds and we will adjust the last frame also because we want to see <laughs> both of these so click on the last frame and then just adjust that click apply then click back and try 20 20 seconds click preview again perfect but I just notice we need to rotate this garbage can as well as we need to create the tiles here which I forgot to create in the previous videos but before closing this video editor we need to save this camera path which we have just created so we don't need to repeat all this again so to save the camera path we need to go back to Revit close this and here in this video drop down in the Enscape tab you have this camera path click on this drop down again and select save path so we don't need to create this again let's leave it like that and click save now we can leave from this video editor then we will load this path again when we we are ready for the video rendering so now first let's go back here in Revit and rotate this bin here now let's create the tiles here so first maximize Revit and just flip this section view to this face and then double click on this and go to modify select split face and then select the face of this wall here you can see if I hover over the corner of this it will highlight so just click and then select pick lines we will create tiles until uh, 4.5 feet maybe 4 feet 6 then uh, just pick this path here or maybe let's try 4 only four feet then uh, pick this line to create the line here now we need to take that until here now select pick lines again and give the offset of 4 inches select this line and click finish ok we cannot actually finish this because the lines must be inside the wall face so just take that here the wall is only until here so these lines must be uh, until the wall face now click finish and go to 3d let's select that wall and press BX on your keyboard to create the section box and then let's go to manage and create a new material for these tiles don't remember the number so we'll just put 008 tiles let's load the texture image here we have that um, let's try one foot and increase the glossiness we will create the duplicate of this so we can make this darker now first click on this duplicate this asset button then open up the image and reduce the brightness to make it darker click done then go to modify select paint tool and select the material first select this lighter one then apply to that face change this to realistic so we need to edit the size of this texture but before that let's apply 
uh, this darker material also and then uh, edit the scale of that texture let's try two feet here also two feet okay and it's perfect i will create the same tiles on this wall also so i will speed up this part So as you can see I have created these tiles here now let's go back to Enscape and we will render the video so before that we need to load the camera path go to Enscape and then camera path load path select this file which we have exported earlier now if you go back to Enscape we can see that camera path is already loaded here now I can just click preview I think we can render this video so to do that we need to go back here to Enscape tab and then here you have the render video button click on this and let's call it interior animation click save and I'm not sure how much time it will take so I will get back to you once the rendering is finished so the rendering is now finished it took around 20 minutes so let's see that awesome so i think that's it for this tutorial if i get a better response from you guys on this tutorial series sure i will do more revit and enscape tutorials in future so make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on, turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course. You can follow the first link in the description. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.